Can't believe I'm doing this. Whatever. Fine. Subscribe. Episodes on those days. So watch. Leave comments. I'm done. Welcome to Second Job Gaming. You can call me Bedastian. That voice has been driving me crazy since you've been gone. Where did you go anyway? Come back and watch me. I've been building on this altar, working on this pool, getting supplies ready. Don't worry, I'll show you. I've managed to devise a great way to fill up this pool. Low process, but very efficient. I enjoy efficiency. <laughs> now, almost full. Yes. Fifty thousand life points. I have managed to make it up to level. One of my foes' heads on top. It's a nice touch, I think so. Capacity rooms. Rooms of self sacrifice. Because why should I cut myself so much? Do the speed. And to automate this, make it go faster. Or at least just let it run. I place in stone, and it makes it all the way. Ah, fireworks for me. I enjoy that. As I was saying, you place in the blank stones. It turns them into slates. Then reinforced slates. Then imbued slates. And then it dumps it over here when they're all finished. Just by me clicking this button here. Don't click it too early. It'll suck everything out of it. Forty-seven. That's good. We can use that. And now, I have a healing aura, Master Wand. Great your heal. And when my life needs to be put into here, healing aura. And then just start doing this. I have plans for rituals later, but I won't be doing this. But for now, it serves the purpose. And when I get low on health, flip over to a greater heal, and work myself up for more. And as you can see, it works splendidly. Now, this voice has been driving me crazy this entire time. So, let me tell you what he's been telling me. I have progressed. He told me about this speed room. Yes, they work. I didn't need to lose that much blood for speed. That's why I automated. He had me get an apprentice blood orb. Not too easy, not too difficult. He told me about this ring of self-sacrifice. I like that. He tells me about this ring of sacrifice. Oh, I will be using that one later, but not yet. I upgraded my altar to level two. It was intriguing. I learned how to make an imbued slate. Yeah, I've told you that. Then I had my Magician's Blood Orb. It's like, when does it stop? It's common Tartaric Gym. That was a little tricky. I'll have to show you about that one. Or maybe I'll just keep that dark secret to myself. <laughs> and the Rune of Capacity. Yes, that was very worth it. I filled up 
the last ring of the level three for that one. And now, upgrade your blood altar three, which will take it to tier four. Ah, I can hear that voice coming to me now. 28 more runes are required to advance your altar to the next tier. Place these runes one block below and two blocks out from the previous runes. Then, take the pillars that are five blocks tall in the corners. There should be one block of gap between the pillars and your runes. The pillars must be capped with bloodstone bricks. <laughs> Those bloodstone bricks. They were a little difficult, but I figured it out. After he kept it secret from me for a little while, he showed me how to make blinding regions. Now is the time. Use your health force to create some binding regions. Some glowstone, redstone, gunpowder, and a gold bucket. Yes, that wasn't too difficult. And then you look up binding regions. In a Hellfire Forge, you'll need these guys, and a common Tartar gem. I used it all up. Oh, that's right, I only brought enough for one. <laughs> the work is never done. Oh, dear. Let's I see. Are simply converting it all back in there. That's fine. Gold nugget. And gunpowder. Simple enough. And of course, I made a better bed than either of those two had. Oh, uh, those things have been driving me crazy. voice has some sort of music that likes to play when I'm doing what he wants me to do. It's, it's annoying. He probably knows this, but he'll be my minion one day. Anyway. Back to this. I'm sure he's going to tell me something. But I'd already figured it out. A bound blade will allow you to call the weak with ease. Use your binding region and a diamond sword to create it through alchemy. Know that the name suggests the weapon will be bound at first. You'll need to unbind it to use its power. Oh, well, I did was sneak. Right click. That's what it looked like at first. And it says it deactivated. Well, sneak. Right click. Yeah. Wasn't a big deal. I went out and I was. Chopping them with this shovel head looking thing. <laughs> it was fun. And this one here was even better. So. And now we have bound tools. You can use the binding region to craft bound tools. These are powerful tools that will aid you. Know, of course, that these tools are bound. You need to unbind them to unleash their full potential. It's like he's reading from a script. No major power reads from a script. <laughs> Am I working with another puppet? Oh. 
Here we are. Now a pickaxe, you say. I'm interested. Diamond, huh? Ugh. Well, those will take a little bit, I'm sure, because we do not have that many diamonds sold to diamond upgrades. Yes, we only have one. Yes. Yes. See? See? But we can work on that. Iron. There's plenty of iron. Where did that gold come from? <laughs> oh, maddening. Really? <laughs> That's all we need right there. Yeah. And now. Need a pick and a shovel. Shovel. Is it an axe? That's what he wanted me to make. Now I'm shoveling down that. Okay. But we have the axe already here. We'll make him. We'll make the shovel. And now we'll upgrade them. Just like we did the sword. Hmm. He's playing with me. <laughs> no problem. Hey, look. I can do this. Just a little bit of time at all. And now I can take my boundary agents. Let's go make two more. Finish this quest up. Got them on me. Good, good, good. Two. 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 Don't have it. Two. So, what I have figured out is the Tartar gems. Make two of each of them. Go out there. Fill them up. Come back. Create a higher tier with the lesser tier one. Keeping the lesser one on your stuff. 
No. Isn't that dirty? Enjoyable. I do like the light show. Ah. Yes. Excellent. But the scrubs explore for me up there. It's not good. It's going to get explored. Oh. Yes. Do that. And better tool. More efficient. Very well. Finished with those. Displacement room. For removing and adding blood to the altar by other means and infusing the sacrificing, moving life essence is limited to only 20 essence per second. These runs will increase that speed. Not too interested in making it go faster right now. Are you done? What are you doing? Not too much. Very well. Put this stuff back together. I mean, Laura. See? This is quite efficient. The fun thing is, is typically my blood is so hot it seems to boil over. That's draining my life pool. Now, that's all done. As you can see, these are all completely empty, so I pack that and watch it just suck them all out. Excellent. This is very nice. And you know it. Now, so we need to get this done. So we need 28 blank rooms. I already have that. So let's don't break. Well, those are a little different. Bloodstone bricks come from bloodstone piles, which come from a stone and a weak blood shard. Take the bound blade you had. Still hunting. That's the beauty of this. There's always so much more hunting to do. Ah, oh. <laughs> I need a ranged weapon. The minions are pointless to him. And of course, there's nothing like having a nice beautiful zone out here to have fun with a few of those. I'm sure some people would think the use of critters are cute. They are more annoying than anything. Anyway. I told you, you're not anything for me. Yeah. So, you're looking to get these sweet blood shards. 
anything. Just come out here, fight regularly. And you'll get something eventually. That's what you'll need to do. And once you have some, you can go make your blood kind of. Let's go back down. And that's what's good. Any stone, any of those. I have no stone. <laughs> no, my backpack. You carry quite a mount, an array of things. Very good. Stone. Ah. Peace. Can we use this? Thank you. No. Cobblestone? Very good. Melt some of this up too. Okay. I need to make this more efficient. This is driving me crazy. Oh. It's funny how some things are okay with slowness, and some things are not okay with slowness. I believe that's all we'll need for now. Let's go make an altar. I'll be back with this. Very good. Now that we're all back here, we can go ahead and finish. Grab my blank slates. I'm going to cover up this outside. Like so. And as always, for now, I will just make this blank. One out. One out. One out. One out. I believe this is what it means.
Wait, we need the bricks. Not the tiles. That goes into that. I read the schematic wrong. Don't need to go here. Yes. Much easier. Nope. <laughs> <laughs> 
it look like this then? Blood is boiling over, it's draining away. <laughs> Inspector Scanlon, showing me how to do it. Very unique voice. Very well. As long as you face the altar, you will notice. I'll tell you where to put it. <laughs> oh, don't worry. I wasn't going to try myself. Four. I think that'll just about do it for us. We'll make this look more beautiful in the meantime. Maybe craft some rooms, get those things moved on. First, this voice has something to say. I'm sure. Mnemonic slates can be made by infusing more blood into your imbued slates. Yeah, that's what I Oh well. You're free to go now. You don't need to watch anymore. Bye. So I think you should watch this and subscribe already. And then check this out. If not, I'll come for you.